definitely glad I had it done. Are you, do you have any advice for people like you that are looking for answers? I, I would say if you're watching this, you're, you found it the same way I found it, and, uh, and I, I would I'd recommend it. It's made a huge amount of difference. At least to get looked at and screened, right? Yep, and as someone who's tried uh, 30 different things with absolutely zero result, too. So. Yeah, so you got more than something. You got a lot out of this. Yeah, and I'm yeah. and this is just the day after, so I'm hoping that with time, better and better. Yeah, you and me both. Yep. Yep. Very good. No, thank I'm, you very much, man. Well, thank you guys. I'm really grateful. Tell me where you're from. I'm from Maine. And what brings you all the way from Maine to Arkansas? I'm here because I've had terrible jaw pain and the muscles in my jaw, my temples, uh, my neck, my shoulders just are really tight all the time. Yeah. And uh, How long has that been going on? Uh, about six years. And I, it appears that after I got some fillings done in 2012, it just kind of started slowly from there and got worse and sort of migrated up from my teeth into my jaw area and yeah. then the muscles in my neck and got progressively worse. Yeah, does your, does your jaw pop and click, or does that ring a bell, or not really? Uh, not really, but occasionally I'll just hear a, a little bit of gravelly sound. Mm -hmm. It's not really that bad. Nothing terrible. So has your jaw ever locked open or closed? No. Good. Okay, excellent. Are your teeth real cold sensitive? Very cold sensitive, yeah. And do you remember when that started happening? I don't know, only because I think think I've just been avoiding letting them hit yeah. cold water at all for a yeah. long time. So It's just here. So we made a real apparent today that it, it, it's really cold sensitive. Yeah, it? it's very uncomfortable. Yeah. So 0 to 10? I'd say a 9. That bad? It's terrible. I mean, I'm basically getting it down. <laughs> You're swallowing as fast as you can. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could yeah. prolong it if you want. <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't, don't. I don't want to hurt you. Um, yeah. Okay. I have seen... I, I almost need a piece of paper. I have seen dentist. I've had un countless bite adjustments. I've had two root canals, one extraction. Yeah. I've had physical therapy, acupuncture, intraoral massage. Um, other dentists just, I've gone different places mm -hmm. and uh, and nothing has helped it. Did anyone make you splints or do some do any kind of imaging or no I got a I got a bite guard made and I used it for about two years it didn't help anything at all yeah and they just said that they had noticed some wear and on the teeth and that's why they had it but about two years ago I just got so fed up with it I stopped using it yeah and the problem didn't go away but it seemed maybe just the tiniest bit better yeah and uh, and then I was told by countless dentists that I had TMD and it was a gray area for science yeah. and that it's really not understood or known about and that there was really nothing that they could do. Yeah. That's it. You know, the MRI, the CT and all that, what did that do for you? Um, well, it, it certainly let me have a better feeling of what's going on yeah. as opposed to just a bite that I didn't really understand and, yeah. you know. I knew I was, I, I'm only making contact at one point due to the work of somebody else who really didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> so, uh, but it seems so a little bit better informed. So. It makes sense to you, right? Yeah. Like now you've been look, you've looked, been looked at orthopedically. Yeah. Orthopedically, we've looked at your hinges basically, and now we're going to try to address the bike thing, mm -hmm. right? And we decided we were going to give you neck blocks. Yeah. Because we have innervation coming in from your upper C spine. Uh -huh we're going to find out whether it's the neck that's causing this or if it. it's, you know, into the TMJ. So. That's right, man. Okay, great. Open. <laughs> I asked my, my neighbor, I was like, so, um... I, I came. I didn't want to. I came with low expectation, just so I wouldn't be disappointed. Yeah. And I thought to myself, if I could just get the bite back and nothing changed, yeah. I mean, I, it would. I'd be in pain, but it's would be important to me to have the bite back. And I, it feels 
like before anything ever happened. I have like nice. the whole bite. How'd you sleep last night? I slept better than I have in a long time. I mean, maybe five years or so since this all began. For real? Oh yeah, I slept on my side, which I haven't done. I woke up on that side. That was the bad side. Yeah. And I, there's no way I would have fallen asleep like on that side before. Yeah. Or huh. slept on my side. How's the temples? It's really good, yeah. They feel pretty normal? I mean, yeah, they do. I, I'm, I'm not a hundred percent, you know, perfect. Perfect. But, yeah. But compared to what it was, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. There's no doubt. It's incredibly significant difference. Though. So half better? No, more than that for sure. And uh, I don't know. I'd, I'd say maybe eighty percent better. Nice. And also, I, the big thing for me is talking is what really. Uh, Hurt. Yeah, it really brought it. You back. mentioned that. Yep, and uh, that doesn't seem to be an issue. Also, I had a very loud noise in my left ear whenever I'd swallow. Mm -hmm. I don't have that. Hmm. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that was, but that's <laughs> pretty cool. Let's see what we got Just there. A little bit free. Because yesterday, what was your ice water switch like before we did anything? Before you did anything? Yeah. It was terrible. Yeah. I mean, it was almost. I couldn't do it, and I basically was swallowing it as soon as it hit the teeth. Yeah. I mean, I was basically forced. It was terrible. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So let's see what we got now. Anything? I have, I could literally let it sit on my bottom teeth. I have no sensitivity at all on the entire set of bottom teeth. Both sides, left and right. The whole thing. There's just Front, nothing there. Back, everything. Yep. Yep. And then the center, probably five or six, whatever, six teeth mm -hmm. of the center is a zero. And then as you move to the extreme back. On the top. On the top only. Yes. At the very back, it's sensitive. But there, I'd say it's a six. Yeah. So going from a ten for every tooth to a six for six teeth. Yeah. Not bad. No, it's definitely good. Big it's difference. Totally How's significant difference. Two different dentists that I seen when I had been researching this before I ever called you guys. Yeah. I go, have you ever heard of a DTR, disclusion time rule? And I said, they go, no. One of them's a tough guy. Yeah. And I, I said, have you ever heard of neural occlusion? Nope. Nope. Yeah, so neural occlusion is kind of my thing. Yeah. DTR is Kirstein's thing. And the funny thing is, Kirstein was a professor at Tufts. Oh, no kidding. Mm -hmm. well, this guy went there. Yeah, and this, he really seems like he's a, he's a sharp guy. Yeah. But I said, have you ever heard of it? And he goes, no. And then I got that filling done, last filling before I came. And uh, he says, what's that guy's name again? And I said, Nick Yanios. And he goes, he goes, yeah, let me know how that... He wrote it down. Mm -hmm. And I go, he goes, let me know how that goes when you come back. <laughs> Tell him he's welcome. I mean, we, we the teaching center is open. We do it three times a year here. Yeah. I mean, I'm. Well, our next one's coming in June. June seventh and eighth. Oh no kidding! And you know, guys are. I've, I'm having more specialists show up nowadays than dentists. Yeah. Like orthodontists, root canal guys. It's it's crazy because I'm just a general dentist. I'm. They're supposed to be smarter than me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So, but they're they're starting to see because they can't explain what they've seen on the videos. Yeah. You know, it's like. There's something that's not fully There's understood there. because you took just a few shavings here and there and then made me swish again mm -hmm. and everything's flashing all Remember that? Moving around, so what's mm -hmm. up with that? You know? Well, do you remember yesterday? Uh, all I did was add your canine just a little bit. I didn't touch yeah. anything else. Yeah. But I was watching the data and your cold dropped immediately. Not yeah. a lot, but a little. Remember I just that? don't understand how, without me interacting, mm -hmm. how you can add or take away and affect tooth sensitivity. I, I just don't understand. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's like crazy. you found something really big. You just have to yeah. figure out exactly what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> and it is big because it's it's every dentist has patients with sensitive teeth. Yeah, you know, and it's nuts. I was swishing last night just to for fun just for to see. I go, how is this happening? Mm -hmm. This is so weird. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, yeah, I know it's crazy, isn't it? All right, give me a swish one last time, just so you have a fresh <laughs> memory. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah, right. <laughs> Zero to ten. I'd say um, just sixes in the very far back, only on the upper set. Right and left? Both sides. 
Yeah. Got it. But the front top? Front, front, uh, the top in the center, many teeth in the center is zero. Mm -hmm. And the entire bottom is just nothing. Zero. Yeah. Interesting. And then he, before we did anything, yeah, it was? It was, I'd say, nine or a ten. Everywhere? Everywhere. Yeah. I mean, I just put it in and yeah. I, yeah, I almost was faking it just to get it down. Yeah. <laughs> it's nuts.